welcome. Hello. Day 21. I'm joined by Martin. Hi. Look at my Sonic jumper. That's good. I bought this specifically. Green Hill Zone. He's having a good time. Robotnik's up nice. there. Flight on oh, no, up there. Up there. <laughs> Flying about. I've got Guys of the Galaxy, oh, which you can't is... actually see because of the. Oh, it's got the cassette on it. Yep. That's pretty freaking cool. Where did you get that one from? Uh, I think it's T Fury. Right. They did like ugly Christmas sweaters, but they're actually all pretty good. They're really good. However, it's one of the worst customer service like dispatch times ever. Oh really? I ordered it at the start, like in November. They were like, yeah, we'll dispatch it in four working days or whatever it is they do. Didn't yeah. dispatch it for two or three weeks. Mine, this I think I ordered in September. I saw Kotaku posting the article on this one and also uh, a Street Fighter one as well. And it literally arrived Good. about a week ago. So it came just in time for the stream. Yeah, ours turned up, I think. It turned, it, no, they, were, they turned up on the, the karaoke night. Yes. So I'm, I yeah. didn't have them for the Wednesday, I don't think. So my last stream. <laughs> Luckily, carry a connect. Yeah. Oh dear. Right. Presents. I get to have presents before Christmas. It's amazing. Yeah. Early Christmas. Oh my god, I got scissors. This is far too prepared. My unboxing videos when I did a PR box are just like a mess. The advent yeah. is far more organised. I don't have no. this system. You have boxes for people and days and places and all sorts. Well, I try. I try. But this is literally the most festive room in the whole of Towers. You can't see that bit and you can't see this bit <laughs> yeah. on camera. You just see the organised parts. Boxes. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. So where does this come from again? This has come from Slovakia. Jesus, okay. You must get mail from everywhere. I'm surprised you get yeah. a lot of mail from Australia, usually. I don't think we've had anything from Egypt yet. Oh, that'd here be good. Yeah, if you're in cool. Egypt, send me a letter. Right, we're don't in. just send me a letter saying I'm in Egypt. There's some Slovakian newspaper bits, which is good. I'm going to try and make this as less messy as possible. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to put it there. Whenever I finish unboxing videos, just stuff is all over the yeah. floor. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got uh, some horalki. Oh, so they're like wafer bar things they with chocolate good. in the middle. Ooh. So they're like, um, it's like a tap. I'm going to eat this. That one's for you. <gasps> -da. Just show everyone, because I will, I will probably eat this in a moment. <laughs> it look, look amazing. It's like covered in chocolate and then if you break it, or Sometimes they turn into dust, don't they? Sometimes yeah. they will just crumble everywhere. Oh. So there's like, yeah, there's like, we've got an Italian brand in the UK because I used to have these when I was a kid. Right. Not this size though, they're a lot thinner. Yeah, they're a lot tiny, aren't mm. they? Yeah. They, they, they come like, um, sometimes you get caramel ones as well. Yeah. They still do them, those really shiny red and gold wrappings. That's the one. Yeah, I know which one you mean. They're good. We've got Thank some JoJo gummy bear worm Ooh. things. And they look like they might actually be fizzy ones as well. They like they've got a little bit of like sugar sprinkled maybe on top of, of them. Maybe a bit of sour as well. I don't know. Oh, that'd be a good shout. Uh, what is? Oh, what is that oh. thing? Oh my god! Two special. Oh, this is for me. Oh, okay. Oh. This is for the special guest. Here we are. I've got. Off. I think it's a spinning top. It feels like that. Or like maybe a bauble as well. It could be. Oh, that's a good shout. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I was wrong on both counts. <laughs> It's not remotely anything like we thought it would be. This is those wind up <laughs> teeth. And when you wind them up, it just walks along. <laughs> the shape was so misleading. There you go. And it even has a tongue on the inside. I wow. wonder if the tongue actually like works properly when you do it. I got a handmade Mr. L. Whoa. Cool. Oh, gee. All right. Oh. Okay, he's Come. gonna destroy your towers. <laughs> and wear a great big smile as he does it. Uh, what have we got? Whoa, hello. We've got some... Let it run its course. Oh, of course. Some Slovakian Jaffas. Which Simon will love, thank you very much. Oh, apparently these are not Polish. So there you go. They're not Polish. Just FYI. We tend um, to found that the, um, like the... So, not only is... Not only do Poland do very good Jaffa cakes, but I think most of the sort of Eastern European countries seem to have gotten Jaffa cakes. And yeah. Like, McVitie's are actually quite dry in comparison to these. I don't know what oh, it really? is. The sponge in that seems to be a lot more, like, fruity and it doesn't... Yeah. I don't know. I assume it's something to do with the manufacturing process or something, but thank you very much. He'll love those. Thank you. Um, here we go. Oh, I think this is for you. Oh, his name is Martin as well. Oh, this is amazing. Handy. Good coincidence. So... My name is Martin and I am 13 years old. I come from Slovakia, Europe, in brackets, not Slovenia. Good. 
I um, watch Eurovision. I know the places. We know. We know they're not the same I place. love Eurovision. So do you like Eurovision? You don't strike me as a yeah. You're, you're I don't like. like I, I like it. I liked it when Terry Wogan was doing the very tongue-in-cheek commentaries. Do you not like Graham Norton? I like. Graham I feel like Norton, he gets more not... rebellious each year. Maybe. I mean, I sort of end up. What I do is I end up just watching all the videos of all the things afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I know like epic sax guy and all that, obviously. But... <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of the Oscar cast since winter 2011. I really enjoyed watching your Walking Dead series and your Tomb Raider series. They're, they're good games. Are they making a, uh, speaking of Walking Dead, they're making like a Minecraft? Let's not talk about that. Are you, are you not going to play it? I'm waiting to see <laughs> how bad it is I wanna, I'm curious about the art style. I don't know if they're going to use the typical Telltale art style or if they're going to go yeah. for like maybe something like high render, like kind of like Slammer Cow animations. Maybe. Or if they'll go for the really like old, like blocky style. Like they've know. not really I've, hinted I'm at any of, of it. Because the thing is, it's normally when Telltale do a game, I mean, they have done games pre-Walking Dead that, so Duncan's Park, Jurassic Park, Oh god, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But they did very badly in comparison, and everyone forgets they exist. And then Walking Dead sort of changed it. They're kind of like the golden company at the minute, aren't they? Like yeah. everyone's like, Telltale have found the formula. But that's what worries me. They found a formula which relies on a existing universe yeah. and storyline, mm -hmm. not necessarily with those people in it. It can run parallel. So they don't. I mean, Walking Dead has very little actual storyline in it, yeah. apart from it's the Walking Dead. Um, there are zombies. There are at least rules of that universe already in play, yeah. and you sort of know how it's going to work. And it, I think Jurassic Park sort of helped a little bit with the, like, oh, quick, we've got to make decisions thing. Yeah. But I worry with Minecraft because... Well, they've also got into it as well and said that we're not going to tell the story of Steve. We're not going to... because it's shit. We're not going to talk about how the world came to be or any of that. So it seems like they're trying to go, as you said before, like as parallel as possible with yeah. it. Yeah. I, I worry just because, obviously, the end and that... Oh, God, yeah. Notch basically just taking the first thing he was sent and putting it into the end of the game <laughs> yeah. worries me because, yeah. okay, Notch is not working with them anymore yeah. because he's gone. But it's still Mojang and more worryingly Microsoft. That's it. I do and wonder Microsoft... if this came about after the Microsoft acquisition, yeah. or was it already in the works? Was it talked Cause, out? It's the thing because I, I worry because of them being such big forthright companies, shall mm -hmm. we say, uh, that are very decisive. Whether Telltale will have enough free reign. That's my yeah, worry. It, do, it does strike me as very much a Microsoft and move. I, also, I think they've, I think they've yeah. bought the brand and, that's and they what need worries to apply me. it everywhere. That's what now. worries me because Microsoft Game Studios have a very up and down history yeah. with games such as Rise. Um, Sunset Overdrive, which I don't think you like too much. I hate it. But I loved it. I think it's trying too hard. It's trying to do what Saints Row's done about being like fourth wall and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's too American humour for me. It's too like, hey look at look at me, look at the joke I just made. And I don't like Yeah. They that can't kind they can't make stuff. a joke and just let people laugh about it and they carry on as if it hadn't been said. Yeah. It's all like it all needs reaction. It's all like gauging the audience and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm not it tries too hard for me, I think. Yeah, and I, I can get I, on board I, I can see that. That all of that influence is gonna screw up also I would quite like Walking Dead Season 3 first, please, before we do <laughs> another game. I love True. Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones game is... It was okay. It like, it's, that's the first... The, the Game of Thrones one is the first time that I've actually sat down and played a full Telltale episode. Mm. And it felt super short. Are they always that length? That like, was longer. That's the... Because, wow, okay. Because you'll get, wow. you get you get about an hour and a half yeah. to two hours, which is why it was quite long, because it was over yeah. two hours. You're getting six episodes in this one. Oh, true, I guess and so. And they normally do it, it's either monthly or every two months, and they alternate the so game. So it's not long now until we'll get Game of Thrones 2. Because well, that came out, what, Bo start of December, didn't it? Well, Borderlands was also out, Tells You Borderlands. Yeah. So, I, and I, so I'm sort of going on the logic of, um, when it was Wolf Among Us and Walking Dead, they were both Telltale owned brands, mm -hmm. and there was less pressure from another company. So they did alternating months. Yeah. And it was always either the first or second Tuesday of the month. But now that they've got a company that wants to keep their brand fresh, yeah, and I, I the think we can't. might end up getting Game of Thrones and Borderlands every month, which is great. That'd be really cool, yeah. Um, and it's looking like currently, it's still the first. Is, is it the first? Was it the first or second? I think it was the second. Yeah, the second of December. Game of Thrones was. So. And I think Tales from the Borderlands was just before November. December. So yeah. it might even be we get 
end of December. Yeah, before the new year. Or it might be they start January. I would assume actually that maybe they'll start in January because yeah. people need a holiday. But then maybe, yeah, when they get to January, maybe they're going to go bam, bam, first, second week. Yeah. Let's reset here. What's that? You set goals for 2015? No. Tough. You're not going to sit the, down and play. You're not going to the gym on the second. You're going no. to be playing Game of Thrones instead that is of sitting on your ass. Genuinely, because they don't tell anyone until a few days beforehand. Yeah, yeah. And it was always just it just screws with my schedule so much. <laughs> you were already struggling with like the 60 Ubisoft releases. And then they're like, surprise! Here's two Telltale games. And I was just sitting there going, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is great, but what? So um. I'm hoping that it's a little bit, a little bit after. A so little bit recover. later on, yeah. Um, right. So inside of this box, you can find a present for you, handcrafted by me, oh. made of balsa wood, which is quite light, and a Christmas tea should handle its weight. Yes. Oh wow. Do you want to have a go? Trying to. Where is it going? Anywhere you can fit it on the tree. Just there. Yeah. Oh. Between those two. That's cool. Uh, special guest present. And some best Slovak candy and goods that we have here. Oh, yeah. Hope that everyone has a nice and lovely Christmas, including the Ognals. Ah, oh, you too, Martin. You have you. a good Christmas. Um, could you give a shout out to my brother? Is that Andre or is it on? I can never say that. I think that's Andre, yeah. I think yeah. the J is silent. I think, yeah, Andre. And my best friends, David and Josh. Hi, Andre, Hello. David, and Josh. Hello. Hi. Thank you. And then we got a uh, Slovakian Christmas card. I don't have a clue what it says. Have a go. The, <laughs> I, it, the, the handwriting is that fancy that I can't even work out what the letters are. Does that say Vasil? Vasil Vinoche uh, slashing tires. <laughs> does it say, it doesn't say that? Yeah, there you go. Have a little read just of that. But on the inside, it's got some handwriting. It just says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Right. That next one. Week. Is there any particular order? Like, do we leave Niles's until last usually, Whatever or order you want? Just any order. I want to find out what this is because we picked it up oh, and we, yeah, we both mum. thought this is a bit weird. So this is from your mum, and you were saying it's, it doesn't have the same it's, feel as rice. It's it's almost like if you had a bag that was full of rice but half full. Yeah. So maybe it's like potpourri or something. Maybe. I don't. I don't really know. Let's have a look. Uh, sure, what is this? Oh. Panko. Oh. What is this? Uh, breadcrumbs. Oh, man. We're doing katsu. Yeah, katsu. katsu. Literally, chicken katsu curry is my dish. Like, my one and only. Katsu. What, my one true dish. It's my OTD. Oh, my God. That probably means something completely different on Urban Dictionary. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Yeah, so you basically cover the thing in flour uh -huh. with seasoning. And then you sprinkle that on top. And you put the egg in. So what you do, yeah, so it's the same way as you would dip non-panko. Uh-huh. And then you fry it in cooking oil. Oh my god. <gasps> that is a genuinely brilliant gift. Thanks, <laughs> I've never actually tried to make chicken katsu curry, like, myself. I probably should do. It's got deep fried pork on the back, but you can Ooh. substitute with chicken. Um, I think you could, if you if you knew what you were doing, you could use it for anything. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, so that would be really cool. And it's light crispy and apparently absorbs less oil than I assume. Oh. Normal breadcrumbs? No idea. That's no, very no. nice. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, a panko. Right, I'll leave Niles' until next then. Let's go okay. for this one. Uh, oh, it actually says on it, please open with Shin on Martin. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's open this thing up. Oh, it's the it's the good old use a shoebox as a yeah, transporting got, method. I've, I've got <laughs> about 20 shoeboxes currently Let's in see my what's room. Inside of this thing. What kind of shoes are they? That's the big. Oh no, you've actually wrapped the shoe box oh, as well. Good oh my effort. god, this is like an ogre. There are layers. That's not a Scottish accent, that was an Irish more than anything. Here we go. To Hannah, please open with Shin or Martin. No. Here we go. Oh, that owl is very cool. I like that. That's adorable. There he is. Oh my god, what are these little fellas? Hello. Oh my god, these are like when Pokemon runs out of ideas. <laughs> They're like these little, you might have to like hold yeah. them up close to the a camera. Go. And that was like the Statue of Liberty, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think, it no, is, I think yeah. you are right. I don't know what, what the other one is. It's oh some sort of god. dog. Here you go. There are some really scary looking ones. Oh, there are more. We've got Pufferfish. He's like the boss from, uh, you know, Shark's Tail. Yeah. He's the one that blows up when he gets angry. We've got, okay, this one I've decided is, you know when you play Mario Kart and the guy holds the sign? And he holds like the little like boo. Yeah, boo. with the cloud. Yeah, with the cloud. I mean, he, is, like he has that. got a shell actually, so he is a little turtle. And we've got. I don't even know what this guy is. This is like Crash Bandicoot now that he's homeless, which is cute. 
Uh, I title this next piece uh, My Little Phony. <laughs> just because it looks so fake. My Little Phony. <laughs> and I think this one's just like the happiest little pie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> or, or a flan. <laughs> it's a fan flan. <laughs> it's really Very happy, good. isn't it? So there is a card for you in here. Thank you. There's one for Shin, and there's also one for Mean. Oh, oh, they're attached with cards, and maybe this is like a, a sign and return. Ah, it's one of the uh, the ones that we did. Yeah. Oh, I forgot these were like embossed. Yeah, I've been using them uh, to write back. It does help. Uh, they've got better handwriting than I have. I have awful mine's handwriting. Mine's going downhill. The longer I write, the like more spirally and horrible it I gets. I think mine's mine's always just been bad, but now the only thing I ever write is my signature. So like yeah. if I have to sign a document, that's it. Yeah. Or like my signature at that. events, that's all I ever write. They're not the same by the way, so <laughs> if you get like my signature at a convention, that's not what I have yeah, on my bank card. Know. What? Oh my god, that's what? a massive blue one. So this is from Ryan, who says, Hi Hannah, I really hope this arrived on time for Advent, yes. Uh, I love your channel and all your amazing videos, especially Evicted, which is back in January, Alien Isolation, and Evil Within. That's a good picture. There you go, it's very kawaii, isn't it? <laughs> I know. That, it? that just the letter? Yeah, um, oh, wow. I know you probably have millions of owls already, but you can never have too many owls, right? Well, I think we're getting close to too many. I think, yeah. There, there are many at the minute. Drawings are fine, though, because you I can think, flat pack drawings. I think we've got one owl on the two at the minute. Soon it will be too many. Yeah. Uh, I've also sent you the cutest figures I could find. I mean, this pie is The fantastic. pie is the best one, yeah. <laughs> Lemon pie. Oh, the pie is oh. my favourite. There we go, it's not double-sided. The pie, pie. is adorable. Uh, and some fan art. Hope you like them. Thanks for making amazing vids. Have a Merry Christmas uh, to you and all the dogs cast. From Ryan. Ah. What does your thing? And then from Ryan Jones, it says, Dear Martin, Martin, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoy your amazing videos. I'm really enjoying your damned videos uh, with Zoe and the rest of the guys in Yogs. Uh, I really love your Sunset Overdrive series as well. See, some people like it. Some people like the game. I think that might be you more than the game. <laughs> yeah, fair. maybe. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for making amazing videos and I really hope you like the fan art that I made. Thank you for being awesome and Merry Christmas. Uh, P.S. Could you please sign the card and have it sent back? I can. I, I think you do have a return address in the top yeah. here. So I will keep those together and make sure that they go to the right places. And I'm sure Shins will be a very similar message and request. Yes. All right, here we go. This is the highlight of my year. Oh god! Every year when I come into he's, this room, he's he's been quite good this year. Have they been all right? Like, I mean, I there's, think, there's been a few What did I get blips. last year? I got an album. It was like a Irish father and son, wasn't it? They made an album oh, together. Yeah. That was the gift I got. Yeah, and we gave it to Sparkles to play in the studio on the stream, and then we realised that it would have been copyright, so we didn't. Right. I okay. don't know where it went actually. Oh wow. Okay. It's a, a Bjork CD. <laughs> you can have that one. Oh man, it's Bjork's debut. Oh. It's got songs like Venus as a Boy, uh, Big Time Sensuality, One Day, Come to Me, and also Play Dead. It's a nice, a nice. And violently happy. <laughs> yeah. Which worries me. That I like how it goes from violently happy to the anchor song to Play Dead. Like if you imagine just that as like a storyboard for yeah. like a film, that would be what, pretty. What were you doing? Pretty messed up. I will, I will give this a listen actually. Yeah. Sure. For sure. Thank you, Nalzi. Yeah, Bjork. And then we have right. this one, which I'm going to turn sideways yeah. in case there are any three turn addresses. I think there might be. It's in tiny. So this is from yeah. Turkey. So we we're hoping that this isn't an actual turkey, because um, it's big enough to be. But I guess we'll open this up and find out. Is there any, like, this way up? Uh, yeah. Sort of thing. That. Oh, this side up. Yeah. Okay, so it's got to open that way. So if I guess if I chop the top part here, yeah. this might do okay. There's loads <laughs> of people commenting on our scissor safety. There you go. Just shank it! Well, so, so that one's for Kim. Kim. So we'll make sure she gets this, thank you. We got... Oh! <laughs> Don't squeeze too much. That's for Simon. Do not squeeze too much. Make sure he gets that. Oh my god. Uh, Who else have we got? Oh, this one's really heavy. This one's for you, actually. Oh, on the neck. Oh. I've butchered that, yeah. probably. <laughs> Pronunciations. Um, dear Yogscast, uh, I wish you all Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope that all the endless joy you bring to me will also find its way to you. <laughs> <laughs> Always and this? forever. Lots of love from Turkey. And I have no idea how to pronounce your name. This I'm might really be sorry. a miniature saxophone. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. What is it? Um, is that a G? 
I... I'm going to say it's Tuzga. Yeah. Tuzga. looks like T-U-J-G-E. It is a G, yeah. Tuzga. That's my guess. <laughs> well, oh my yeah. god, there's some really Thank different you, looking things in here. There's like apricots in yeah, there. Yeah, with dates with, with nuts inside them. Yeah, there's like almonds and oh, pistachios. Oh, that's Florentine, that side, I think. Ah. Well, sort of Florentine. Oh my god. So, oh, this this leg of lamb, by the way, is for you. Oh, well, let's let's try the leg of lamb. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna guess it's that. It's either a leg of lamb or a miniature trombone, a tr uh, trumpet yeah. even, or a sax. Could be a saxophone, or it could be a really large pipe. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like a big like, grandpa pipe. Or. Oh, I think what? I think we're going for pipe currently. Yeah, I think so. Oh, unless it's like a... Oh, no, it almost looks like that's just a very large handle. It's like a big tank. Yeah, hang on. Oh, my Let's God. See. I guess you can, like, put, like, gravy in it. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be much gravy. Jug, that's a good shout. Uh, so there's one here for you to open with. That's for, to open with Kim. We also have some more, like, wafers. People are Way, wanting to get wafers, wafers, aren't they? Wafers! Uh, these ones are called hovers. So there you go. Again, they're, like... Wafer and chocolate, which mm. is good. Oh wow! Oh my god, what's going on there? So the... Damn! Wow. So I think this is like a tea set, maybe. It's really nice. The explanation will will save us. Yeah, they're like a tiny Ooh. tea set. My god, there is a big, Whoa. big, big. Oh, yeah. I could, I could thingy bob if you Look want. Look at this. This is like A4 long sheet. Should I, should I read the one for you and then the one for Yogs as a whole? And then we'll leave the breakdowns for Kim and Duncan and Shin and everybody yeah. for whenever they're about. Uh, so let's start with you then. So it says, uh, for you, Hannah, I chose a traditional gift set. Uh, you now have everything to make Turkish coffee. Oh, that's what it is. So this is a coffee thing. Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. Maybe pour it in. Looks like it's the right size. Um, it says, hopefully it's a proper gift to share uh, the love between you all, your, fr uh, your family and friends. As saying states in Turkish, a cup of coffee holds memories for 40 years. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm including a guide on how to brew a proper Turkish coffee too. I checked the internet and mostly it's all lies, much like oh. the cake, but bitter, bitter oh. lies. Uh, don't worry, it's very easy though. The coffee pot, so I'm assuming that is that, yeah. is called a, a, a kez, or kez, kezvle. It's C-E-Z-V-E, -E, a kezv. I'm gonna guess it's Kez or something like that. Uh, it's made of copper and lined with tin inside. It's perfectly safe for use. It's best to wash uh, wash it by hand and try not to scratch the inside. Yeah, bits. I guess it's like um, like oh. Japanese teapots as well. You yeah, a little chip in there. You don't ever wash a teapot with washing up liquid. No, no, no. You no. just rinse it all out. Um, what else we've got? Uh, with time, the shiny outside will turn a little darker as it's nature of copper. Yeah. And I think you'll find some tinsmith to retouch it after a few years. Try to rinse it quickly with water after brewing your coffee and you'll avoid coffee stains much yeah. easier. Uh, you can easily wash your cups in the dishwasher or by hand, no problem. Way. Uh, and then for the rest of the Yogs crew, it says, Please give all of my love to everybody at the Yogs cast and tell them how much I appreciate the work they put into entertaining us each and every day. Uh, please enjoy the sweets and healthy snacks I've sent you. Again, I've branded bits with allergies in case anybody has them. Uh, I really appreciate what you guys do for us and for charity, and I'm also donating in every way to help your cause. Uh, Yogscast has changed my life in a very positive way since 2012, and I always wanted to give something back to cheer, uh, something to give back to cheer you on. Uh, last year was my first advent, and I hope to catch you uh, catch up on this year's. You might wonder. I don't celebrate Christmas in a traditional religious way, but I still like to think of this time of year as a time to give to those. Uh, that you love and to share the happiness. Good. So hopefully I'll somehow manage to do that for us. Yeah. And that is from Tuzg. Tuzg. That is a G, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a G with an arrow above it and, and a, a C, C with, with like a... a... I forgot what it's called. We learnt what it was called It's like French. a blood drop. <laughs> Just like it drops off the bottom. It's a really nice letter. I love how it's, it's really formatted. Nice. It's really cool. Really good. Thank and you very much. There are also some of these as well. These are for everybody. Oh. Those will be in the creator room and they'll be gone within about three minutes. Yep. <laughs> gone. There you go. I think that's everything, isn't it? Good lord. We've done the lot. Um, that's good. I haven't asked you. Have I asked you your game of the year? No, not this I year. No. Asked, this this, this is my first time about it, isn't it? <sighs> I, I sort of was going to ask you mid presence and then we got distracted by game amazing stuff. God, game of the year. I'm trying to think. Um, there are a couple that I've got up there. So I mean, 
Shadow of Mordor for me was probably the game that I played most of this year. Yeah. Like I played that game, I absolutely loved it to bits, and then I actually went as far as trying to complete every single Steam achievement yeah. of it. And some of them were a little bit too obscure and some of them were actually doable, but the fact that I wanted to continue playing afterwards. Yeah, I did that as well. Um I think I don't think any other game grabbed me quite that much. Other kind of like key mentions I'd say is obviously Sunset Overdrive. Uh, there was one on the PC as well called Freedom Planet, which was originally a Sonic fan game, but it actually got to the point where it got that good and the characters were different enough that it became its own thing yeah. and its own franchise. And if you played any of the Sonic games or Mega Man, uh, it's got gameplay style elements from both of those, and it's available on the PC, and it's nice. really freaking good. So, yeah, those three for me are definitely up there as like top ones of the year. I might have to look it up. I, I like enjoyed Sonic. those. Yeah, Freedom Planet's great. So you've got kind of like a Knuckles character meets Sonic. And then you've got more of like a, uh, a Tails meets Amy character. Uh, is um, Amy the Pink Hedgehog? Yeah, the Pink Hedgehog, yeah. But it's honestly, it's really, really good. It plays so smoothly. Like, it's better than Sonic 4, which was like the newer released one. Okay. Um, I only know the... The one, original like one Mega Drive two. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't play any other Sonics, because, you only know partly because I haven't got them. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, so that, that game is really, really good. It's on Steam and stuff. So yeah, there we go. Shadow of Mordor. Um, Freedom Planet, and I really enjoyed Sunset as well, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. And what's next year? Next year, anticipating... Um, see, last year I said, like, Destiny, didn't I? No, that was a massive letdown. <laughs> um, but I don't actually know for games for next year. I'm not really aware of what the release schedule is like. Um, so I guess I'm kind of going into it, just kind of yeah. open-minded. I, I think a lot of us are, because there's sort of things like, I know they're working on a Tomb Raider game, mm. I know they're working on... Uncharted 4 looks pretty freaking cool. That... Visually looks very impressive, that. So we could say that if you want. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with that as well. Uncharted 4, I'd go for that for next year. I think that's going to be good. I mean, I think I've only played two of them. I've played two and three, but I've played them again through to completion, which is incredibly rare for me. So, so yeah, so there we go. Cool. Those are my uh, top ones. Brilliant. Good choices. Yeah. So thank you for coming to join me. No thank props. you to you guys for sending all this stuff in. Yes, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.